Who am I? I am a protrusion of the world I live in. I feel like I am a prisoner here, so I must affirm my liberty within the cell in order to be able to live at all. I must accept my position in the world for it to be workable. Sometimes I feel like a collection of smaller parts pressed against one another, each having their own limited voice. The whole makes some sense in the end. I am bound to myself, but I am free. I am bound together, forced to be myself, but I am satisfied, because being trapped together inside me, I can do things. I can decide to some extent what I or we will do. I'm a bunch of inanimate parts that have woken up to themselves. Now that I am awake, I owe it to those smaller parts that have pitched in to give birth to me, to ascertain my freedom to choose. Not bestowed upon me by someone else or some others, but by myself, by them, I owe it to us to decide that there has been born an I, and now I will do as I see to be well while I see others like myself, but of a different congregation, and other bits and pieces not as fortunate as me, to have become a whole, to be awake to my own existence. There's a free right, free hand right, free right, yeah, uh, that uh, our humanities teacher had us right, um, after he asked us the question, who are you? And that's what I wrote. And, uh, funny enough, I, I don't, well, I don't entirely agree with actually everything that I said here, but it's, these are still my thoughts. They went through my head, and I wrote them down as they were in my head, in my mind. And I think they give, something like this gives you an insight, gives me an insight to how my mind works, and, and sometimes, you know, you can learn things that you didn't know yourself that you knew. learning from uh, the abstract thoughts of your own mind is uh, an interesting experience. And give me some food for thought. <laughs>